Living in the Moments by Stephen Bayer. Fade in, interior, restroom, karaoke bar, night. Three men dressed in Elvis jumpsuits stand in front of wide mirror. John, 39, medium height, average looking, stands between two men and admires himself in the mirror. To John's left, Joey, 42, tall and handsome, stands with confidence. To John's right, Jay, 44, short and stocky, looks uncertain while all three men button up their jumpsuits. I really don't know how I get myself into these things. Uh, you love it and you know it, John. Trust me, Joey, if it wasn't for all of you, none of this would be possible. If it wasn't for you, John, this group wouldn't be possible. As the leader of this pack, and like I always say, when properly motivated, possibilities are endless, my dear friend. Is it possible that we may mess this up? Jay, once the laughter begins, we'll be fine. Okay, well, we might not mess this up, but what if I mess this up? If it comes, if worse comes to worst, as Elvis or whomever we may be impersonating at the time, wiggle and shake your hips to distract from any mistake. John, Joey, and Jay put on and straighten out their Elvis wigs with sideburns attached. I agree. Shake, rattle, and roll, baby. <laughs> More importantly, are the divas here? Yep, they're seated in the front row. Divas are here, but have you guys seen Holly? Jay and Joey look over to each other and nod their heads no. No, we haven't. Well, that sucks. I had reserved a table for Holly and I tonight. Have you made your move yet? No, not yet. First, I wanted to impress Holly, then ask her on a date, and eventually win her over. What if she doesn't show up tonight, and you don't get the chance to impress her? If she doesn't show up tonight, I'll just make my move tomorrow morning at work when I see her. How about you guys? You guys still desperately seeking booty? John, Joey, and Jay comb their wigs. Oh, please. I'll be the only one getting laid tonight as usual. Joe the Ho, I don't know how you do it. Jay, you could get laid more often too if you would talk to women instead of texting women all the time. Nowadays, relationships are different, John. A lot of groundwork can be done by text. You can get to know someone by text, ask someone out by text, and you can even let someone know how you feel about them by text. That's why relationships don't last these days. John, Joey, and Jay comb their sideburns. What do you know, John? You haven't dated in years since Cheryl. What do I know? What do you know, Jay? You are an unemployed, middle-aged man that lives in his mama's basement and dresses up in costume most Friday nights trying to get laid. Hey, we're all best friends here. I didn't mean to offend, nor am I offended. No offense taken. I do know relationships need to progress organically. Steps are misplaced these days by text and intimacy is rushed. Speaking openly, honestly, and freely to one another face to face is the key. John, Joey, and Jay drape and tug on multiple concert scarves around their necks. The key today with dating is to be online with Facebook or Twitter or Tinder or all of the above. Do you guys really think Elvis would have reverted to Facebook or Twitter or any of that shit to get laid? <laughs> Elvis wouldn't have to do any of that shit. Women were lined up at the gates of Graceland every day and every night to be with him regardless. John, Joey, and Jay put on and adjust sunglasses. I never understood why women found Elvis so attractive in the first place. Elvis was the definition of sex and candy. His looks were like eye candy and his vocals were like foreplay. And the way Elvis shook his hips on stage was like simulated sex. Well, sex and candy, we are not. With these cheap wigs, we look like a bunch of sweaty old porn stars dressed up like Elvis. I mean, look, my junk is bulging out of my jumpsuit. We are supposed to look silly. And for your dick, just tuck it in. No matter what, the chicks will love us, especially when we change up the lyrics in their favor. Now enough small talk. Are you guys ready, or what? John, Joey, and Jay, fully dressed as Elvis, stare into the mirror. I've never been so ready. Let's win this!